I can remember laying in bed yeah. crying and talking to my wife and, and being like, I don't know what to do. Like, and her being like, well, you've got to figure it out. And I'm like, I'm aware. Like, I've got to figure something out. Like, I, but I don't yeah. know what to do. I don't know what to do. The only way you can really uh, exhibit passion in a tangible way is through a story. And with us, that's such a huge part of what we do. Every single time that we're able to, to tell a story, it, it creates a personal connection yeah. uh, with the people that you're with. You know, a lot of people think you have to be passionate, extremely passionate mm -hmm. about something to be successful. And, you know, it's a beautiful thing if things line up and, it, and you have something that you're just, you know, have a burning desire every day to do. Mm -hmm. um, what I think breed success is being passionate about being the best at whatever you're doing. Hmm. You know, I, I can't say that I was passionate about mortgages. I didn't get yeah. up, you know, with a burning desire to go mm -hmm. write mortgages, but hmm. I had a passion to be the best mortgage banker and broker yeah. that, you know, was in the state or, you know, um, you know, with my gym, having the best studio and, and gym that there is. So for me, it was just the, the, the shift of mindset of, of where I needed to go be better. The copy salesman right now that's watching this podcast that's saying like, was I born to sell copiers? It's, you, how do you go from there to figuring out like what you were born to do? Yeah. But the important thing is that in the meantime, while you're looking for that purpose, you still gotta just hustle your face off at what you're doing now. Like, that's right. Mm -hmm. You have to work hard as you can to be as successful as you can in the place that you are now while you're looking for the other. Salespeople think that it's what they sell. Mm-hmm. Mm you know, is yeah. is that my purpose True. to sell copiers? Yeah. Well, it might not be, but it's your it's your it's uh it's your purpose, it's your your calling to be a presenter of information to people. Mm -hmm. So maybe copiers is the step and you're diligent about that and then before you know it you're gonna get you it's gonna prepare you for the next level of your personality and your mm -hmm. presenter. You don't necessarily have to be passionate about what you're doing on a daily basis, but you can be passionate about what it gives you the ability to do. And another word to throw in there that's even more important is the word purpose. Like there's a big difference between passion and purpose. And I think a lot of people become frustrated because they're judging their potential on the wrong purpose. Oh, no, it's, it, and that's, that's true. Um, a lot of your complainers are those who are chasing money, but never understand their purpose. When you understand purpose, you know, hey, this is what I'm here for. You know, when the, when the battery gets upset because it can't be the engine, well, that's not what you're built for. You know, that's not your purpose. But when the battery is satisfied and it realizes I'm an important part and I need to just, I need to fulfill this in, in the best way possible, you have all kinds of opportunities. And there's an interesting concept of people judging their potential based on the wrong purpose. 